Yeah, this is Lana's Enchanted Sky. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Metatron because if you guys don't know, please watch that video. That's <laughs> I've been see how I'm speechless. I I don't I have always had things in my videos, even lives. Please check out even lives. They'll be. I had no idea that one simple thing for myself would get a cavalcade of activity and I want to share this with you because I want you to experience it too because it's really life-changing and if anybody doesn't know right now I about a couple months ago Jesus came to me I know I've got messages for him for everybody too and I I'm not religious I I would never I almost consider myself Buddhist but I do understand that I think that in my my tenth or my twelfth house is Christ consciousness. So I'm yeah I would be a Christian. I I, I follow what his teachings are because being a good person. <laughs> so all I know is that the Archangel Metatron okay, has been doing this, and I've been invoking him. So let me let I'm going to talk to you a little bit first about Metatron. So okay, so let's go. Number one, Metatron sits supposedly on the left hand of God. He was Enoch, and he was hu he was a human that's been come that's come in, in in that's become an angel because not everybody not people don't become angels, they are different beings, okay. Also, two. Metatron writes the Book of Life. He is the scribe for the Book of Life, so the Book of Life is also. Anything, it's the Akashic record. Any any thought you've ever had, every it's all in there. It's all in there. Okay. Three, he can communicate. And four, he's considered like the leader of all the angels, almost like the king of the angels. And I want to tell you something because I really thought this, I was crazy. And I'm telling you now. I'm not thinking that anymore. Please check these videos. That The video that I splashed, uh, that I, I, I sent through with all the angels and the beings and stuff um, and the fairies and all that, uh, that was over an hour and a half long. That was comp that was a compilation. There's some that are so incredible. When we I've had followers blow them up, they're angels. They're angels. I'm sorry, they're angels. So also, let me fill you in. By the way, and I did not know this, and I'm doing my research for you. So I found out that fairies traditionally are angels that got stuck between heaven and hell. And they haven't been able to get back in. Do I believe this? I don't even know anymore. I just know that I have been invoking Metatron. And that video is what I got. So if you want to experience Metatron for yourself, I'm going to share you with what I did to have all this happen. Okay. So number one, get yourself a candle. I have a nice can white candle. It's nice and pure. Yeah, it looks a little weird, but yeah. And I'm burning it. Two, I saged myself. <laughs> I took a nice thing of sage and research says, you know, I, I still think that eventually science and spirituality are going to become one throughout this age of Aquarius because that is kind of what it's about. Anyway, I got a nice bundle and I um, I lit it and, you yeah. know. Okay. Three, I said a prayer. Now, it can be any prayer you want it to be. So it doesn't matter. You can make it any way you want. Okay. So this is my prayer and see, I want you to see, try this. I had no idea this would work and I'm going through something right now. And isn't it interesting that it appeared right the day before and it wasn't just a few. <laughs> if you guys are watching that video, it's just amazing. You're like, okay. And, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I see how I'm speechless because I'm, all I know is this is, I, you can say this any way you want, but this is what I did. I, I lit my candle and I said, Archangel Metatron, I invoke you and your principalities, which means other angels, right? To help empower me and keep me safe from any negativity coming my way. 
I pray that you will teach me how to put up my boundaries and teach me how to best use my gifts and to teach me how to trust my own intuitive gifts to serve others. Please communicate with me and let me, your presence be known. Now I can end that with an amen, which I did. But I, I, all I know is that also it's a seven year. Now, it's all about you using and learning your intuition. It has to do with a spiritual number seven. And it's learning you to, to, to use your gifts, to go with them and trust them. Isn't that interesting? I kept getting seven, seven, seven and uh, throughout the all, whole week and didn't even realize he's been communicating with me. So what I want you to do is do a little prayer. A little, remember, Metatron is empowerment. Not putting up with somebody garbage and not being mean, but just saying, I'm not going to, uh -uh. you're not going to get to me. You're not going to wear me down. You are no, you are nothing to me. When somebody's giving you, throwing you all that bad stuff, he's going to empower you to say, okay, whatever, let's go with it. Because ultimately the empowerment comes from the fact that you don't care and know someone else has your back think about that. Blessings to you. Try this. Tell me if it works. I get lots of messages every day because I'm just fascinated and I think I was supposed to be doing this. So I'm sharing it with you. Blessings. And Lana's Enchanted Sky. Go hit my website. Blessings.